Hello and welcome <coughs> to some more Train Simulator 2021 gameplay, where today we are going to be taking a Royal Mail Class 325 EMU from Glasgow down to Carlisle. Well, it says from Shieldmere to Carlisle, might as well be Glasgow to be perfectly bleeding and honest. Uh, so we're starting off in Palmardi, where we'll then be heading to the RMT. 90 minutes long, difficulty is going to be quite hard, it's cloudy and snowy, it's winter, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What could possibly go wrong? And, because it's December, it was December the 12th now, at the time of this recording, uh, it also means that I can do the festive one, so cha-ching. After this, I'm going to be taking a Southern 377 on the West Coast Main Line South that you're currently looking at, from uh, Wembley to Milton Keynes Central. I've done that one off camera, and it is a very, very nice little journey to go and do. If you would like to help support the channel, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. Additionally, if you have any route recommendations or trains you would like to see me drive, please do let me know and I will see what I can do for you. I don't think that that would ever happen in real life, but there we go. I must have a look at some of the uh, the Asian bits. So uh, that, that could be quite good fun. I don't want to look, I suppose. Never driven the 325 before, so uh, not too sure what to expect. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. Please await a clear road and then begin the journey south. Our first destination is Shieldmere RMT to collect the load of Christmas parcels bound or blighty. Right, well, that, <laughs> right, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, the layout in here is different, ooh, what do I press, nope, where's the, is, nope, so, help, ah, hello, right, buttons, uh, head, knight, Let's do that. Tail lights. I trust tail lights are on. 325006. And then we've got 325013 uh, in there. May as well have a cheeky little peek to see who we've got in the centerpiece. Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. Well done. There we go. You can tell I've not done this for a while. <laughs> okay. We've got 325004. Right. So we've got some Mark 1s over there. We've got, oh, we've got another load of 325s over here. There's a Mark III Wake with an 87. There's... Ah, there's an incoming train. Jolly good. Right. <clears throat> Let us now just... ascertain if I need to do... anything else in here. Do the wipers. Put that to full. That's all we need. Uh, is there anything... Well, I don't need the AWS reset, so I'm safe on that one. No, Pantograph is all fine and dandy. Don't suppose these things have a cruise control, do they? I don't think they do. Oh, hello. Looks like we're good to go. Okay. Do I want... To, well, it's what, 8 o'clock in the morning, is it? Very dark for 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, 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 I know I'm speeding, shush. There was a 47 over there. Intercity Swallow Livery Class 47. Excellent. Uh, I don't suppose there's actually anything else I really can do in here. Oh, hello. Red Express Systems Class 47, taking a parcels train.
Right, is there anything in here that I can put on? I don't even need a windscreen wipe with speed control to be perfectly honest. Hello, what was... Oh, it must have been just for that then. Still going along at five miles an hour. This is so slow. Nope, nope, nope. Let's just let, let's not play with that for the moment. Let's just uh, let's just hold fire. Right, everything else is absolutely fine. We've got that going. Sparking quite nicely. Let's just uh, sit outside for a moment, shall we? No, don't have to worry about any of that. I don't actually think I have to worry even about Sander. No. I'm literally just having a play at this point. Is there any... What? Oh, oh semi pantograph. Don't have to worry about that. Still, still ever so just gliding really slowly. What's that's the reverser? Don't have to worry about the reverser because that's fine. Don't have, definitely don't want the emergency brake. That's a big no-no. Okay. Just, just lean outside. I just hope you can hear the pantograph just sparking away. Hello. 47 coming down. Okay, we can actually start building up some speed. Do I actually get any audible warnings inside the cab? That's fine. Just keep an eye on the uh, signals ahead. Nice 80 limit coming up as well. I think we're doing okay. Rutherland Central Junction up fast. I presume the CEN uh, stands for Central. Hello. Another 47. I don't quite think that these things were running around with Intercity Swallow coming around, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll roll with it. Just bring that down slightly. Should be able to just uh, put my foot down once more. There we go. A lovely job. Whack her up to 80. Just 
bring it back down and start having a play and working out uh, with what. Hello. We've got another 47 coming down on the local passenger service. Neutral section coming up. Doesn't appear to apply to me, which is absolutely fine. I also appear to have no score associated with this, so... Again, I think we're also in the clear. This is just a, a case of having fun and not having to rely on a score. I think 29% appears to be right where you want to be. Neutral section where you have to start speeding up. Logic. Right, give it another load of beans. We are sparking really well. Some sparks kicking off there. Really going for it. Oh, hello. I need to uh, watch me speed here. Cause I'm <laughs> Speeding once more. There we go. Right. Just need to now start working out uh, the best percentage to have the regulator at to maintain the speed. I can always up and down it. It's not going to be a problem. Hello, 87 coming down. Climbing up here, I'll have to give it a little bit more beans, won't I? Beans are the order of the day. More beans are required. Do I need further beans? Or have I given it the correct dosage of beans? I think on the bean front we're good. Don't have to go with the full Heinz baked beans on this one. G-forces we're putting through here. <clears throat> okay, we're coming up to an 80 and 1.6 miles. I think we'll be fine. I should lessen the beanage at some point. And then we can actually open up the taps once we get past all this lot. Jolly good. Half a mile to go. 
I suppose starting to slow down. Oh, whoa! What was the? Where's your world, people? I mean, you know, let's just think about this one logically, shall we? Oh, we've got 15 coming up. All right, you know, I'll start slowing down just a wee bit better now then. Sound your horn going through Motherwell. We don't want to cover the weight of passengers in snow, do we? Well, I don't see the issue in covering passengers in snow going through Motherwell. They shouldn't be standing so close to the side of the platform. You know? Just saying. Just saying. I can actually let it off at the moment. I'll probably just coast. In fact, I'm going to hear what the AWS sounds like in here. Nice. <laughs> I'll take it. So we're going via Shieldmere Platform 1 into Shieldmere RMT. Hello. Another 47. It's like a 47.2. Judeberg. Okay, well, let's... Let's, okay, let, let's be real. That's crept up on me a lot quicker than I thought. I should slow down in enough time. Ooh, maybe not. Really? Emergency braking? There? Wouldn't have thought that was entirely necessary, but there we go. Well, that 15 crept up on me a lot sooner than I thought, I must admit. Right, and now we'll just coast at this point. Is there anything in front of me? Nope, just you're merging through the platform. So, you know, Illuminati. I'm just wondering, when, if, when we clear that, we suddenly get a speed uh, increase coming through here. Or, yep, we do. Well, probably do. I'll start slowing down once we get halfway through Shieldmere Station. And about here we'll do. Start. <clears throat> start applying the brakes. Okay, plenty of uh, rural mail vehicles hanging around waiting for me to, to turn up. I've got to judge this one just right. I want to get the entire length of the train in. You're going through the thing once more. Let's pop on this side, shall we? So we were supposed to be doing it 17 minutes past the hour. So we, we are there, but we will be running a few seconds behind schedule. Almost couldn't say the word schedule then. Best thing to do is go back here so we can uh, try and get as much of the train in as possible. I trust I'm not actually going to overshoot this. Should have whooped today, shouldn't do.
There we go. Oh, we got the blue LEDs. Oh, oh, I didn't know they did that. Oh, wowzers. Oh, yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. What do I say? I'll take that. Quite happily. Let's have a cheeky peek over here. Was there anything chasing us? Not that I can see. Clouds are really shifting. Nobody coming down, so... I think we're good. Oh, I love these blue LEDs! Oh, yes. I'm so glad they're actually a function. Oh, my God. That I'm sorry. People are probably thinking, really? He's getting excited over blue LEDs. Whenever I see the raw mail train come through, especially at night, I just love these blue lights that are uh, on side of the train. I think they're fantastic. I'm easily entertained. Don't come at me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if we can see what the whoops are daisy. Pick up passengers. You know, it's uh, interesting passengers I'm picking up here. So I'm just going via everywhere, running straight to Carlisle. Result. Be interesting to see what trains pass me on my journey. Right away, driver. Watch your speed as we join the main line. Stay below 25 until we cross onto the up line. Okay. Go via Appington Up Loop Hold in 29.14 miles. Oh, if I'm going via the Up Loop, <clears throat> I wonder if I'm going to get held for another train. But then I shouldn't do, because I'm going to be running at a max permitted line speed. Unlike conventional freight trains, I'm not speed limited to 75 miles an hour. I can run at the permitted speed, so... I don't know. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting and jolly good fun. So anybody waiting? Yes, I'm holding up another service. That... Is that a 47? I can't tell from here. I want to say yes, but... It... Yeah, I don't know, actually. It might be... Oh, I don't know. Could be anything and everything. Okay, we're maintaining our speed rather nicely. We should be able to start accelerating now. Who have we got coming down here then? It is a 47. Is this another local stopper? Nope, Rail Express Systems hauling a, another parcel train. It's 
to us, see what happens in about 28 miles time. No, stop zooming in. Stop it. Bad egg. Oh, mind you, we've got a few... Hello. We've got a few fluctuations in uh, speed coming up. We've got a 70, dropping to a 60, up to a 70, up to an 80. Be interesting to see the cause of this uh, sudden speed variation. I'll just bring that down. We may use gravity to our advantage. <coughs> I don't think gravity is helping me much here. Let's just do a little bit of braking. There we go. Alright, 29%. Should be okay. Oh, I see. It's for this. It's for hitting the junction. That makes sense. We're going straight on. You know if we we're going to go up there to come back around somehow. Be good to see what other services we now pass. I reckon we're going to get held, personally. Slowly approaching, preaching? We're preaching, apparently. Approaching 95 miles an hour. I don't know what a preaching is, but it's something. It sounds like we're running with a flat wheel. What I'll probably do is hop out at car stairs and uh, do a, a, a flyby shot of it passing us through the station. In fact, whilst I've got some time, let's do it now. Let us go to let's go to this bridge and just watch it go past. Nice.
Oh, we're nearly there. I can lessen the amount of beans I'm having to give to the 325. If that makes any difference. Probably start slowing down. And we are. Ugh. Mind you, we're coming up to 100 mile an hour limit shortly, so I can uh, open the taps up once more. Yeah, 54 appears to be the sweet spot. Mind you, wait till we start going downhill, then I'm going to have some fun. I hope there's nothing fragile on this train, because the, the thing's sort of getting thrown left, right and centre. So another intercity service coming up. The parcel train, an Intercity 87 hauling a Royal Mail 325. Why not? The postal service is busy this year. Support your local postie. And we're going downhill. Eighteen and a bit miles to go before we uh, hit the holding loop. And my belief is we will be held, but then we might not. We might actually be allowed to just pass straight through without any real issue. But the difficulty did say this was hard, so I'm still doink, waiting to see when the hard bit's going to be. Ninety-five limit coming up, so uh, <coughs> I've got plenty of time. All the time in the world. There's a bus. Here on the approach to Carstairs. Now stop it. No. No, 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 no. Down there. Yep. Boom, 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 47. Dun, 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 and we will go here. Plenty of good traction here. 47, 47, all 47s. There's a, there's a theme here with 47s. That was a lengthy oil train. There's a, wow, okay. That's a pretty cool consist. Very nice. Anyhow, right. Back up to the uh, telling things. Right, let's go. Let's now see what this girl can do. Just under 15 miles to go. running with that lovely flat wheel. It's 
It's going to do the ride quality no good whatsoever. Seven coming down. Two eighty sevens on the container train. Two miles an hour. We're breaking line speed records here. Line speed? World speed. Do you want to try that with sentence again? No, the moment has passed. 103. Oh, we can get to level we get to level ground here. We might be able to uh, go a little bit faster. Are you sure it's level ground? Well, you know, as level as we're gonna get. Anybody up there? But I can see. I think 103 miles, no, nope, 104 miles an hour is uh, going to be the, the highest we're going to possibly do at this stage. Yeah, step 104. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take 104 miles an hour. Steadily getting lighter. But it should do at 25 to 9 in the morning. Simington Crossings next in 1.3 miles. Oh, and we've dropped to 100. No, no, we're going back to 101. Must be a very heavy train we've got running. A random network rail bloke standing there. He's going to get a chill. Don't know how much thermal protection the orange jackets give him, but uh, still going to be quite nippy. Okay, so we've got just under seven and a half miles to go before we go via the Abington Up Loop Hold. It'll be interesting to see what does become of this, if indeed we are going to be held, or if we're going straight through. Somehow this 120 mile an hour speed limit coming up is not going to affect me at all. Just graze my ear going under the bridge. Oh, good spark. Some right old wobble going off here. Get another spark again.
Every time I look away, it's sparking. Ah, I caught ya. Caught you sparking. Yeah, see? Ooh, ooh, wait for it, and... No. Alright, never mind. 105 miles an hour now. Apparently we're due through Abington up Loophold at 8.42. Right, the trees. Very festive. See, I can make the electrical buzzing sound. Totally. I'm sure the roads are quite perilous, especially for vehicles just randomly spawning in, like you and you. And you Ford Focus and you Ford Focus. And your bus and everything else and your white van. Ninety mile an hour limit coming up. I've got just under three miles to go now, just to see if anything does change. And we've got the flashing light, which tells me that I am going to be coming up to a junction. Whoa, okay, we've got some serious vibration going off here. Whoa, okay, what's going on here then? Whoa, have a word. That's it. Cool, listen to those air brakes. Psst, 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 psst. Might as well keep braking, as soon as we've got the 40 limit coming up. Mile to go, should slow down in enough time. I think I timed that braking quite well. Let's have a get a little bit more. There we go, right. So I trust that that doesn't help me. <laughs> yep, it's like we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be held. It'll be interesting to see who's going to be passing us then. And now we wait. Wait to see who's going to pass us. I 
Looks like we'll be... Sorry, Jesus Christ. Looks like we will need to wait in the loop for a passing express. Await clearance, then we can get on our way. <clears throat> well, ascertain who the express is going to be. Of course, there may be something else coming up there as well, which would be cool. Well, could go in there, but I've got a green eye down that end, so it could be another express coming up and up. Ooh. Ooh, I, oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm not going to. I want to, but I shouldn't. I will just have to sit and wait, won't I? Let's do that. Zoom out a little bit. And... I do like the 325s. That's somebody that that's somebody there. Can't see anybody behind us at the moment. Oh, it's a 37. But you're sat there waiting. Why are you sat there waiting? You shouldn't be sat there waiting. More to the point, where's this express train? Oh, well, you know, I'll just sit here. I'll sit here and wait. Oh, well, his light's wrong, which means he's moving. Anybody up there? No. This is going to be a bit of a wait. So I'm just going to sit here. I shall sit here and I shall just wait. That's all I can do. Eagerly awaiting the arrival of this 37. Is there anyone behind me yet? Not that I can see. I see 37s working in tandem, opening up the taps as they head further north. On a fairly decent length train, must be said. Still no sign as to this express. I trust that no, no, I still got away here. Doesn't change for me. Well, okay, was there actually any point in me coming in here then? I could have probably have gone to the next holding loop. Because this express has. I mean, it's nowhere near me. I'll keep my eyes open. Well, I'm not seeing it. There goes those seven around the corner. Well, all I can do is just sit here and wait. There is nothing else I can do.
Still, as Puzzle Squad 37 was uh, sat down there, but... Oh well, makes sense to them. I have got central heating in there, well, I'm going to be getting a tad nippy. Still nothing. So did they set the difficulty hard on this just to test the but the the, uh, the driver's patience at this point? Yeah, we'll keep him sat here for as long as possible. <coughs> to see if he's prepared to just do the entire scenario in one sitting, or if he wants to come back to it later. That's what it feels like. Have the signals changed for me? Have they actually... Nope, they're still waiting on something to come through. Oh. Ah. That sounds promising. Where's the HST? Took you long enough. Oh, and so, oh he's opened up the taps. Oi, look at that. And we've got some Royal Mail 325s coming down. Well, I suspect I can probably sit here and wait for this to come through before we've got it to pass again, so... Oh, she's not hanging about. Got a 002. Oh, this is another triple load. Who's on the rear? 008. Okay, so it's 40 miles to go before we go via Kittle, sorry, Kirtle Bridge up Main. I still maintain that we could have easily have just wasted until the next loop for that HST to turn up. I wonder how many more HSTs are going to make an appearance during the course of this journey. Oh, 
know, the days are getting lighter now. That's the line side hut. I think it's so far to say the HST has well and truly cleared off at this point. A sharp corner here. Up the hill, past the farmyards. Oh, the signal's yellow in front of us. Oh, is it going to change before I get there? Mind you, you've only got to look at the close proximity in between these signal blocks, so... Yeah, you know. interesting that changes when I get there it has you can actually you can even see the next one up ahead which is a uh, yellow don't want to miss me whistle boards otherwise I'll get a, I'll get a strongly worded letter telling me off and you didn't do this sorry I've got convoy buses Un, deux, trois. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to start slowing down, seeing as we got uh, these lights are in real close proximity to each other. I know it's a double, so I've still got a block ahead clear of me, so uh, slow down to half the permitted line speed. Then you should be okay. So you can see it's now gone to green. But I'm going to wait until I. I'm going to wait for the entirety of my train to pass the signal and then I'm going to start accelerating. See, they could have put me in here. They could have put me in Vtox Summit uh, loop, and I'd have I'd have been perfectly fine. Okay, start accelerating. Oh, is there another train still waiting for us here? It's a BR Blue 47. Hopefully the rest of the signals now should be good. i uh, slow down sufficiently. So we've crested the summit and we're working our way down.
through the cutting. HST. As we well get up to max speed as quickly as possible. And I'm going to have to have a conversation with the brakes. Ooh, I think I'm holding it. Oh, no. A little bit more. There we go. Back up to 100 mile an hour. Slow down, son, slow down. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Don't have to go too heavy on the brakes. Just a nice, gentle one. That'll do, lads. That'll do. I can probably actually just release the brakes at this point and let the train coast to 100. Well, start slowing down there, shall we? Obviously catching up to that HST, which I find slightly odd. Right, 50 miles an hour. There we are, lovely. Approaching 125, which the HST can do, and we can't. So I'm curious to see how the rest of these signals are going to play out. Still got double, okay. Well, we can go up to about 60 miles an hour. I 
another pair of 87s. Nope, singular one. All in tractors. And you know, just a mixed freight contest. Yeah, it looks like we've got green, so should have enough time. So why don't you know, I'm just going to open the taps and let her stretch her legs for a bit now. Wouldn't surprise me to get to these signals to suddenly find out we're uh, back on yellows again. As we see if anything up on these uh, sidings while we're running along, or holding loops. Well, there's something there. Yeah, there's plenty of some things here. There's some logs loaded, and this could be iron ore, maybe, ballast. Got two thirty sevens at the helm, so it could be it could be ballast, could be iron ore. It may even be coal in those wagons. Not necessarily the traditional coal ones, but it still works. I thought we were casually flirting with 106 then, but uh, we've dipped back to 105. Well, I think the rest of this journey should go relatively smoothly, all things considered. There's the neutral zone. The Pro 37s. Interestingly enough, holding DB wagons, but you know, I'm prepared to cross over this. I don't even think we'll see that HST when we get to Carlisle. Wouldn't it wouldn't make sense to. It's running 20 miles an hour faster than us.
given the fact that I am only running at 105, I am very surprised I'm not being pulled over elsewhere to allow faster trains to pass me. There's an 87 coming down. What have we got? Two of them on the containers. due through Kirtle Bridge at 9.18, so about nine minutes to go. Bus picking up the locals from the household. Not a clue what that was. So far, it's a very easy looking journey. Uh, there's not much in the way of commentary I can do apart from some catenary that appears to be floating in midair, but there we are. All round, very, very pleasant journey. The next run I'll do on this section of the West Coast Main Line will be at the helms of the Virgin Trains uh, 90 Mark III set. Is that something up ahead? That's uh, an 87 on a passenger working. Paused up at Lockerbie by the looks of things. the Mark 1 parcels van on the rear, which was uh, the norm back then. So 
7 miles to go before we go through our next waypoint And 15 limit coming up, which does not affect me in the slightest. Well, I am half expecting to be pulled over at some point, surely to God. I must be holding somebody up. I can't not be holding somebody up. But if they want me to run straight from here to Carlisle, I'll have no uh, no problems there. Eh, again, I think I'll be fine. Looks like 105 is going to be the most I'm going to be getting out of this. What have we got here then? Another load of 325s? Roughly two minutes to go. Neutral section. Interestingly, we just lost uh, we lost a second. Then it was nine eighteen fourteen. It's now nine eighteen fifteen. But we are passing straight through, unless the game's going to do an absolute ugly on me and throw me something completely horrible. shouldn't do, but you never know. Another pairing of 37s. Decent length coal train. back a few seconds then. Driver, we've just been informed that there is an emergency temporary speed restriction at milepost 14.5. This is due to a fallen tree and drifting snow. Please prepare to pass through TSR, which is set at 10 miles per hour. A member of track crew will warn you of the commencement of the restrictions. Take care. There's the TSR start at 10 miles an hour. Okay, well, this will be fun.
temporary speed restriction 10 miles an hour. There's the drifting snow. There's the fallen tree. That is a fair amount of thick snow. You may as well come through with a snow plow at this point. Got to be easier. All the fun at the fair. Coast through now. Link the old uh, temporary speed restriction. Gotta say. I think it's all very good getting to the TSRM, but I'm still going to get the rest of the train through there first. You're very bored standing there, aren't you? End of TSR. Yes, I'll probably go away. Well, I'm actually getting penalised, so I could just go for it, but... Where would the sportsman-like conducts be in that one? Wait for the rest of the train to pass through, and then I shall do it properly. And then it's 14 mile run to Carlisle. In about 12 minutes time. Okay, here we go. Start accelerating once more. Very slowly creeping up the old speed there.
Well, there we are then. That, that ends that one then. <laughs> Train derailment due to an AI collision, the London Glasgow to the London Houston to Glasgow Central. An AI collision. Well, there we are then. Um, okay, that rather ended that one quite abruptly. <laughs> well, okay, that ended that one then. Uh, so, next then is. Uh, is it in this one or is it in the other one? Her... Nope, it's in Korea. He says with some vague degree of confidence. That's the kitty. That's what we're doing next. <clears throat> Taking a Southern 377 from uh, Wembley to Milton Keynes. So, uh, rather unexpected but there, but there we go. So, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. I do come back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.